All right, so I've been tinkering in the shop. I've come up with a couple of conclusions. We're going to talk about this, and we're going to talk about this. So first off, on this Lyman RT, I think it is, I like it. I really like having the dies up there and to be able to move the dies without touching the dies. But I still have to drill and tap for the handle. But the thing I hate is right here is where it primes and I don't know if that's in frame or not. Yeah, it is. So it primes here. So you're pulling up almost, well right there is where just past 90 degrees and you're pulling up and I actually popped this out of this mount and took a big chunk out of my shin yesterday also this has a set screw to hold the the shell holder in instead of a spring I'll go looking for that in a minute now with the Lee and here's one of the Lee here's the Lee small small one right there So that goes in, it comes all the way down, and I think you're actually up even further on the lee, but you're, you're priming about here and you're pushing into the bracket. Also I don't really, I don't care for this. So I'm going to keep using it though, but what I might end up doing is pulling this ram out, putting it in the lathe, cutting it. Indexing at 90 degrees and adding a Lee safety prime to it. I think it's a safety prime, whatever it is. So that's a, it's a kind of a Skunk's Works project. Let's talk about this. So this is the Lee, what is that? Uh, where do we go? It's a deluxe perfect powder measure. There's your part number. Jasmine. That's my dog making a nuisance out of herself. I bought this a couple years ago. And this whole, my little project area back here has kind of been used for storage for a while. So I just now got around to mounting this. And I don't remember if I bought a stand for it or not. But anyway, I couldn't find one. So I ended up going online and $70 for the Lee stand for this. The cheapest one I think was, uh, no, sorry, $70 was the cheapest I could get any stand. That was an RCBS. And uh, this is Canadian dollar shipped to my door. The Lee was over 100 So this one, $17. And I could have done this cheaper. I could have done it a little nicer. But I wanted to do it as easy, as fast, with as little fabrication as possible. So if I... I did this for YouTube. If I didn't make a video, I wouldn't have bothered with this 90. I'd have got a longer piece of pipe, took a couple pie cuts and bent it. So it come up and back to back 45s. But anyway, this is only two bucks. And uh, let's see. There was the foot, a six inch piece, a 90, a two inch piece that I cut the threads off of and welded it onto a $3 nut. This is a 7 8 14 so the stuff will screw into it now there is a little bit of welding let's see if we can duck in there all right so that's it i cut this off i put it in the vise and squeezed it down so it was the same diameter as that nut and i i migged it on there now if you don't have a mig welder if you got a buddy if you work in construction even if you got a reputable you know welding shop around if you go and take them these two pieces they're only gonna charge you 10 bucks or something if they charge you at all uh, if you work construction just go find your welder take these pieces for your lunch box there's usually a welder on site somewhere for bigger projects get them to weld that up for you and you can do all the rest yourself like i say less than 20 bucks for all the pieces this is half inch pipe. I was going to do it with uh, 3 8 but they didn't have a 3 8 plate. Now I will mention if you buy one of these plates, take a look at it because this is warped all the pieces. I didn't check that first. 
And uh, yeah, that's it. I did put red Loctite on the threads. So they're not going anywhere. It'll break that pipe before it breaks that Loctite. But yeah. $20 stand. Took me maybe 10 minutes to make that. And uh, five minutes of that was dragging the welder across the shop so I could get to the vise. I don't know about you guys, but I am not paying $70 for something I can make in five minutes for five bucks. So that's it for this video. Might do a little review on this. There's lots of them on the market already. I do know this is the old style stand. Or, uh, shoot, the old style pipe. But that's all right. Doesn't matter. The new ones have a bottle. And, uh, don't work much different anyway. That's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show off this little piece. That's something I've wanted to do for quite some time. Because the, uh, the little perfect powder measure, the plastic one, well, it's uh, it's not ideal, I'll tell you. Probably be better if I had a better stand, but anyway, this should be good. I mean, you can wiggle it, but I think most of that play is in that piece of three-quarter plywood, so I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>